Welcome, my name is Tashara and this is Starmate. It's been a while, to be honest, I've been uh, procrastinating on this project uh, we have uh, before us. Um, yeah, I think a new year, new ideas will bring this project uh, finally uh, a bit closer to completion, I hope. At least I've got a couple of ideas uh, I want to, uh, to start with. Because the interior of this ship is by a long shot still not done. <laughs> because it's a lot more than I initial, uh, initially planned to do with the interior. But uh, that's not a bad thing of course, because it's going to be a fantastic looking interior in my opinion. Um, but the first goal I want to set myself is to get this current deck level done. Um, I mean, the last time I did an episode on this ship, uh, we just completed the uh, uh, park over here with uh, the windows, and uh, this basically takes up a whole lot of space in the middle of the ship. But the levels surrounding it uh, are not done yet. So we've got a lot of space over here that we need to think of something to put here on both sides, of course, and then, of course, the space between the park and the engine room here at the back. So yeah, I think I need to do some planning. And in addition, I want to prevent that I've got a lot of space in here that I um, um, need to fill up, um, but not with just random do that because I did that in some spots, for example, the space over here, I probably have to do it because there's no logical way to put something here that makes sense for the interior. So yeah, um, it's going to be a bit of a puzzle. So the first thing I was thinking of is adding a, um, what do you call it, a rhythm over here or um, vertical gardening basically. So I've got a nice bit of space between the elevator shaft here and the um, these are the escape pods over there. So uh, this connects through here to this hallway. It eventually connects to the park over here and the elevator over there. So I've got uh, a nice um, room for that. So all kinds of crops in here. And then I'm probably going to put a door over here instead of another rack of those plants because I've got some space um, behind this, so I mapped some, uh, some space out. Um, there's probably going to be some sort of control room over here, and then we've got a space over here as well, that we can put something similar to that. Not exactly the same, but uh, in, in a uh, similar setting. And now the other end, I've got exactly the same spaces uh, mapped out. Uh, I am planning to add small changes between the two. For example, you can see here that the uh, plant types are different between the two. So this one uh, has the, uh, the cactus and the grass, and the other one had the, uh, the desert plant and, uh, and flower. Um, so yeah, th that's um, something I want to do, just not keep everything exactly mirrored, but uh, make small changes. Um, Below this, I've got a lot of space available as well. I'm probably going to put some space in here with uh, water tanks and things like that to uh, provide the water for uh, the plants over here for, uh, for growing these things. So that makes a lot of sense as well to have space for that reserve below here that will fill up that, um, that empty spot as well. I then have to figure out how to continue from there. I already uh, did some lines here for a potential hallway that uh, goes that way, but I have no clue what to put in this empty space yet. The word I was looking for was hydrophonics bay. That's what it is. Um, for this one over here, I decided to mix things up a little bit. So I've got these uh, round cylinders over here with uh, plants in them that uh, grow tomatoes or something like that, at least uh, edible foods. And then uh, some other plants on this side in the same vertical racks that I had in the other room. And I added this small room over here, like I said, for the control 
of something, probably pumps or something like that, and the door to the area over here, and a nice control station on this end. So this uh, feels a lot more done already. Uh, also put in the roof with a rail here in the middle, and uh, this little robot arm over here that will tend to the plant, so you don't have to do it yourself. And in the middle, I didn't show you that uh, before, is a water pool. And the idea is that there are fish in there. I don't have any fish, of course, here in StarMate, but uh, just pretend that they are there for, uh, for the food chain as well. And of course, the door in this room over here. And if you go on this end, then we've got the door on this Hydrophonics Bay. Uh, the same on the other end, um, but just with different plants. I've got uh, blue flowers on this end and the yellow ones on this end. Probably going to do a bit more variation in here as well. So next step, I think, is this area over here. As you can see, we are inside the floor of the, uh, the ship now, of this deck, below the, uh, the second hydrophonics. And I added some spaces over here with some tanks, so brown tanks over here. Then this well, sort of pump like structure over here, and then two big blue tanks over here below the, um, the first hydrophonics bay. This fills up the, uh, the space quite nicely for uh, for this area it's quite dark so if i uh, go to my interface and uh, turn off lightning mode you can see that it's not all that visible <laughs> i've got uh, a couple of lights in here but not that much because there's not uh, a space that you can go as um, as an astronaut um, it's just visible if this uh, this ship is damaged I did a bit more decorating in this uh, hydrophonics bay, added a reel in here as well with one of those robot arms, and over here a table with uh, some of the flowers that there are replanting or, or harvesting, I'm not sure yet, and a small control station over here. Um, I've got also behind here this control station with some, uh, some pump uh, pipes, and these go into this pump structure I showed you before with the lightning mode. So uh, that lines up uh, quite nicely. But um, I think this area is uh, now more or less done. So we've got this, uh, this area filled up. And now I have to figure out um, how to connect everything up on this end, because we've got a connection over here to the uh, main weapon of the ship. This area I've uh, shown you before in a episode long, long ago. It's uh, basically the weapon that comes out over here. And um, I connect it up with an area over here, and then that connects up to a small control room over here. So um, I uh, made that accessible with this hallway over here. That um, is connected to this pressure lock. So you come in here, then go to the left. Then you've got a door on this side to go to the control room for the main weapons. And I'm probably going to add a door on this side as well to um, lead to an area here in the middle. I uh, had this idea for a machine shop or perhaps a uh, laboratory, I'm not sure yet. Um, but this area between the uh, park and the main engineering bay will probably be work area, work related area. So mechanical shops and, and laboratories are uh, something that will fit in that, uh, that category. But I also need to connect it up to this space over here. This was the area that leads to the, um, the hangar bay in the, um, the wing bits for uh, the worker bits. So yeah, I uh, need to make that a, a logical connection as well. It's not going to be easy, I think. Well, that was easy. Barely an inconvenience. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just decided to uh, plant down a uh, whole layout over here. And it works out quite well, actually. Um, well, the plan is to have uh, laboratories on this side. And then a mirror on the other side as well, of course. And connected to this hallway we had before. And this hallway will eventually lead to 
a small area over here and you can go to the right to a uh, large machine shop and that will lead to an hallway connecting to this area and to a smaller machine shop over here so uh, this will be used to repair manufacture small parts for the worker bees to repair them or, or other uh, machines so uh, maintenance areas basically and then we've got a larger hallway or larger um, traffic area basically over here um, similar to the one we had on the front of the ship because I added a uh, toilet area over here as well basically copy paste job um, in this corner and this will connect to this large area and this will be an area that will house some sort of uh, generators that will initiate the uh, pulse system uh, that we had for the main engine that we could start over here then we had these uh, these lights that would uh, turn on well the power needs to get uh, from somewhere so that's going to be this area and that is connected to a small uh, control room here as well uh, i'm probably going to make this area uh, two levels high as well but the rest will be one level one deck and then here in the middle i've got a copy of the elevator uh, i've got in the front um, but this one doesn't go all the way down uh, this is the lowest level it's going to get because below here is the um, uh, the bay for uh, for the, the smaller ships um, but this does go one level higher than the other elevator because that stops at the uh, the blue power block over there because this will also be the access to the top uh, most levels the top two most levels actually but i'm probably going to not make this accessible yet until i know for sure what the systems are going to do um, and then i'm going to uh, to finish up the two top levels but it's probably going to be uh, finished anyway uh, because by the time i've done all the levels it's probably um, a lot further along with the development for that anyway and in the middle here we've got a small um, traffic area as well and then a sort of airlock but it's more of a you're entering a hazardous area id so uh, this is probably exposed to radiation or something other hazardous material uh, that you don't want in the ship um, uh, willy-nilly so yeah some sort of airlock uh, system to uh, to uh, close that off so yeah i think um, it's now a matter of filling in these areas and then this level should be done i decided to start with these generator rooms on the sides because those are uh, the biggest and uh, you go through this door and then you have got three big generator systems over here that will uh, provide all the power you need so i've got these uh, these green generator thingies and then whatever these blue things are <laughs> they look generate thingy uh, whatever they are um, and i decided to uh, add a second level in here with this catwalk and then a uh, small ladder that goes uh, up to it um, because i want to connect this area next to this generator room because on the level over here i've got not a lot planned there yet but um yeah this is probably going to be an awkward space as well so if i connect it directly to this area i can add a couple of um uh, some sort of fuel drums i think for the generators there um that will fill up uh, this space quite nicely and of course below it is the uh, small machine shop over there that's planned but um, yeah let's finish up this room and then we can uh, see if we can add a bit to uh, the airlock for the, the main uh, uh, engineering section this feels a whole lot more done now that the roof is in uh, and some additional details on the walls as well some piping for some additional detail and uh, on top here as well and the control panel yeah feels quite finished 
So, um, I also decided to add the uh, airlock for the main uh, engineering section. It's just the same type of door um, across the elevator. Then you open it and you go in here. Then we've got this uh, this airlock space with uh, a warning that this is a hazardous area you're entering and you can uh, get your safety helmet or gas mask or whatever over here and uh, continue on to the main engineering section over here. All nice and safe and of course the door closes behind you over there if you open this one. So it's uh, the safety feature I, uh, I baked in. As you can see over here, it's not a actual airlock, but it does provide some uh, some of the same functions. That's it for today's episode. I think I uh, got a whole lot uh, more planned, of course, for this this floor. Uh, but now that I have a plan, it's going to be a lot easier to uh, to build everything up um, and detail it out. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, got a plan for the new year going to work on this and uh, I'll see you next time.